And Syrian customs officials have seized the assets of the country's wealthiest businessman. It's the first time an order has been issued for Rami Makhlouf, who's the cousin of President Bashar al-Assad. He's been accused of importing products, including oil and gas, without paying charges and fees. The EU and US have already imposed sanctions on Makhlouf, who reportedly controls 60% of Syria's economy. Chris Doyle is a Middle East analyst and director of the Council for Arab-British Understanding. He explains why Makhlouf may have been targeted. The Makhlouf family, right at the centre, the core of this regime, remember that Hafez al-Assad, that's the father of Bashar al-Assad, was married to Anissa Makhlouf, which is uh, Makhlouf's are a, uh, an Alawi clan, uh, as well as the Assads, and in fact, in many ways, of uh, greater social standing. And Mohammed Makhlouf, who is the father of Rami, was very much the regime's banker. He is uh, extremely rich. So to see the regime taking action like this against somebody so senior, and indeed others who were part of this new crony capitalism that had underpinned the regime, dem demonstrates that all is not well in the inner echelons of power. Now, there's a number of scenarios one can consider here. There is an extent the regime is trying to uh, shore up its legitimacy at a time of real declining revenues when uh, so many Syrians are destitute or below the poverty line uh, and are resentful of those who have billions who actually uh, show off their wealth in a, in a way. And we've seen this also with the Makhlou family. They have been prepared to do that. There have been all sorts of stories on social media and pictures of uh, some of their family with fast cars and the like. So this is resented. It could also be that uh, given the regime has so little financial resource at the moment that they are trying to basically corral in uh, as many millions and billions as they can